How long have you maintained the Radasum Gate? Too long. I put in a request for a transfer to Ebonhawk or Divinity's Reach. You'd rather live among humans? Why? Extracting gold from humans is child's play. I could charge per satchel without complaint. I'm off to Lion's Arch. I have business with the Captain's so Council. So I told him. Be careful. They may be business people today, but they were all pirates not too long ago. PSA to everyone. Remember to clean your monitors. You know how I've been saying in the recent few videos that the sun, that dastardly cruel thing known as the sun, has been shining on my monitors and causing like a glare. Well, the glare was lighting up like all this mess on the screen, so I took the time to properly clean my monitor screen between the past two videos, and my god, it looks so good, guys. Honestly, it looks so good. It's like it's new all once again. Beautiful stuff. So, uh, yeah, anyway, PSA for you all there. Welcome, welcome. We are at Garenhof. Um, yesterday's video was kind of interesting because we moved the plot barely any distance at all. But most of it was this huge adventure, seeing um, the periphery of Asuran territory and a tour through Kessex Hills. I've actually waited for the sun to rise in game to talk to you guys about this next bit. We are here in pursuit of an arcane eye base. That being the Ratasum secret police that work at the beck and call of the councillors. Uh, an arcane base is supposedly here at this Crichton village. This village is called Garenhof. On uh, the map, it's called Wizard's Fife. And it's probably... I don't know, when I first played this game, this was one of the most exciting areas to me. And also one of the saddest areas to me. Because it is so unbelievably intriguing what is going on here. You'll notice that the humans who live here live amongst a ton of allied elementals. And they don't just live amongst them. But, like, these two are entertaining this child. But they're almost reliant on them. There's kind of uh, a creepy undertone to a lot of the stuff that they say. Uh, where, for example, you can speak to the guards. And they're like, yeah, I'm the only guard that lives here now. Hold on, let's speak to the mayor. And here we go. The wizard tower tours are expensive. What else can we charge tourists for? What else is there? Wizard dolls? Tower construction sets? Good ideas. Get to work on those. And uh, we'll see just the state of this place, right? So let's speak to the mayor. He says, welcome to Garenhof. Beneath is Garen's castle. You've got nothing to fear or want. Enjoy your stay and take in the sights. So apparently a wizard named Isgaren lives up there. And he sent these elementals to protect the people. Um, but we've never actually been able to interact with him or see him. And in all the years that Guild Wars 2 has been out, this still remains one of, if not the final big mysteries of the franchise. It's a really exciting place. Let's speak to the guard here. He says, I'm the one and only guard in town for Garenhof. If you run into any trouble, just let the elementals handle it. And we say, how can there only be one guard? And he says, the elementals keep us safe. In all honesty, I really don't even do anything. I'm here more to keep up appearances than anything else. Wow, aren't you worried at all about the elementals? Why would we be? They've been here longer than I have, and there's never been an issue. To be honest, if they did attack, we wouldn't have a chance anyway. Why worry? So, this wizard's tower was actually visible in Guild Wars 1 as well. From a slightly different area of the world, we could see it. Uh, it once upon a time was in the, domi uh, the Dominion of Winds, the, uh, behind the Tengu Wall. But it's moved now, out of Tengu territory, and uh, a wizard just seems to look over this town. Does the wizard mind that we make money off his notoriety? Well, he's never said anything to me about it. You've never actually spoken to him, have you? <laughs> and indeed, they probably haven't. So it's a really creepy, odd place where the idea is, is the wizard really benevolent or not? Um, and you can kind of explore and talk to a ton of these people. There's a hero challenge over there, which we won't worry about. Of course, as an Asura, we're not too interested in getting involved with all of these affairs. One other thing I thought would be really interesting to show you guys is there's actually a gate out the back of town. Um, just over here, uh, which it seems very early designs for Guild Wars 2. This was going to be an explorable map. There was actually a data-mined version of this map that it seems they were once upon a time concepting. And uh, then they never went with in the end. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess really that's all we'll talk about here for now. Maybe at some point there will be an update where they go into this a little bit more detail. If you guys remind me in the comments, I'll leave a, a link in the description to a full video I did telling you all the facts and details about this cool mystery. But because it's slightly out of scope of the <laughs> Battle of the Elder Dragon Zaitan... I guess we won't go into it uh, too deeply here. Because another layer to the intrigue here is the Arcane Eye have also set some stuff up. And let's check it out. We're going to go ahead with Pry the Eye Open and continue our story. 
Is this really where Gaul... And look, look at this concept art of the old tower. So good. Is this really where Gaul was taken to? Hey, Slep. Zoja's info places the inquest base in this area, but it'll take some legwork to pin down the exact location. That's why I'm here, to find Gore. For the time being, the Vigil's work is my work. Superb. We need Gore back. He's one of the few geniuses who actually addresses the impact we have on our surroundings. Since when is the Vigil so concerned about the environment? I thought your sole focus was the dragons. That's our main focus, not our only one. Confronting the dragon shines a light on our own destructive habits, which is a personal priority of mine. Now let's find Gore. As General Soulkeeper says, you can't kill two birds with one stone until you have the stone in hand. <laughs> okay, that's kind of an interesting saying there. Uh, so yeah, like I said, Slep's a really interesting character. He, his motivation to be a member of the Vigil, and he beckoned us over there, is uh, more to do with the environment. He says, Gore's here somewhere. If I have to kill every agent here and gut this place to bear walls to find him, so be it. And I like that. It's kind of that sort of intellect intellectually conscientious uh, motivation for him to uh, join uh, the, you know, the order that gets results quick. And I kind of, uh, I, I definitely do enjoy that. So we've got a ton of visitors. Hopefully they don't mind the sudden uh, Asura that have arrived here. We've even got some Silvari from the Vigil. And uh, what is this, a human? Maybe a non? I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a human. Norm will be waving in there. Um, so yeah, we got to search the houses around here for the Eyes Hidden Base. Now, I happen to know exactly where the base is. Um, but we'll have a look in some of these other rooms first of all. Actually, hold on. Let's just try, okay? The base is in this house. Let's see what happens. Oh, we can kick the door down. Oh, we get attacked by an elemental because we're committing crime. That's hilarious. That's so funny. By the way, with the flamethrower, we get this tool belt ability here. It's called incendiary, incendiary ammo. We can coat our ammunition with incendiary ammo, which burns our foes with our next two attacks. So we can use this, and then even while not holding the flamethrower, just our regular abilities will now burn people. And the extra rockets we fire and the orbital strikes and all that kind of stuff, that all now has burning on it. Okay, for a period of time. The ammo runs out in 30 seconds, but then we can probably pop it again. So, uh, yeah, we can break into various rooms. Now, the reason I wanted to do the visual version of this mission is because you can actually um, interact with, like, a lot more things and panels and speak to a lot more NPCs around it, as far as I remember. Uh, if we were the Order of Whispers, we would stage a process, uh, uh, a protest here. Run, children, run! Ah! Get away! My Don't apologies, ma'am. The vigil will pay for any damages. <laughs> we can just break into a house. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, miss. Let's explore the house anyway, shall we? Uh, yeah, the Order of Whispers, you just kind of get yourself caught immediately and get escorted into the base. Uh, and so you don't get to sort of interact with the town quite so much. So they've got a lovely little house here. I'm sorry for breaking in, children. We are actual terrors here. I'm really, really, really sorry, everyone. Let's just... Shh, it's okay. We'll be fine. Let's bust open your other door, shall we? <laughs> okay, so that's fine. Um, let's come up here as well, because I'm sure there's another house that we want to enter. Oh, maybe there's not, actually. Isn't this where we were a second ago? I love these these cobbled roads, though. Isn't this great? It's all just so small and detailed. Oh. Garenhof is genuinely, without question, one of the coolest areas in all of uh, Kryter. Uh, by the way, you know how we got the summon the power suit? We do have some other elites as well. We can summon regular golems, too. So here, I'll summon a 7 series golem. Hey, you don't belong here. I need backup. Oh, it's the Ark and I. Stay here and secure our exit. We'll get Professor Gore. And they don't like that we're here? Okay, so they're starting to fight us. And as we kill them here... Oh my god, there's so much explosions and crazy crap going on. Let's get our flamethrower out. It all makes sense now. Look at all the cleave. Oh my god, that was so good. Okay, so it says fight your way to Professor Gore. And we can just immediately go downstairs. So it's in the basement of this house. That's where the base is, okay? However, I do want to show you guys as well, quite interestingly... If we come up this staircase here, apparently, uh, there's something we can even interact with up here. Let's come all the way up. You'll see that there's actually some Asura and equipment up here. This is visible in the regular open world as well. So curious human players who have got nothing to do with this story step might come up here and find this gear. Uh, and we can actually interact with it here. For some reason on the uh, Whispers mission, you can't. But here we can interact. It says this con console is worn and dusty, but it's functional. We can activate it. This is Arcane Eye Database Archive is ready. Please enter your query. Ah, so I'd like more background on the Arcane Eye, please. The Arcane Eye is the Arcane Council's private security force. They are charged with carrying out the Council's orders, enforcing Council edicts, and ensuring that the safety of the Councillors themselves. Tell me more. The Eye's duties include, but are not limited to, 
surveillance, investigation, interrogation, infiltration, assassination, information suppression, counterinsurgency, and patent enforcement. That last one, of course, something we were very familiar with, with the trans atmospheric uh, weather converter from the previous set. So let's go back to the main menu. Um, I'd like more background on the council themselves then, please. The Arkham Council is the dominant political body in Ratasum. The councillors are among the most accomplished and successful geniuses alive. And we met those, so that's like flax and so on. What are the requirements for becoming a councillor, we ask? Well, primary qualifications are innovation, peer acclaim, and an advanced facility for managing large, comprehensive projects. Additional qualifications? Ruthlessness, hubris, and unbridled ambition. There's so much dialogue here that seems to suggest, like, maybe one day we could become a councillor, but we don't in the story in the end, so... I wonder whether the devs were maybe setting that up, but then they just never took that as an avenue in the end. I'd like more background on Agent Racked, please. Agent Racked is a top-ranking officer in the Arcane Eye. He is currently detailed to Redacted, where his primary functions are Redacted, Redacted, and Redacted, in support of Redacted. Well, so there you go, a little bit more information on the um, Arcane Eye themselves. And it's funny, you would really hope that you'd get this from the Order of Whispers uh, step as well. But uh, supposedly you don't, so there you have it. This is why we decided to go with the Vigil here. Because I do prefer the Order of Whispers one. Instead of just busting in, we get to like pick it and stage a protest in the town and... Some must fight so that all may be free. Okay, Mrs. Vigil lady. Uh, so there you go. Alright, let's go into the basement here. And you see, like, they can actually turn a force field on here. But we're going to go on down. So, a bit creepy. But let's see what we've got. Arcane Eye. Arcane Eye. Let's drink our elixirs. What? They already saw me? Okay, fine. We'll just fry you all with crazy flamethrower damage. There we go. We'll kill that guy with the orbital strike and the rocket. And then we'll kill this guy with our incendiary ammo. By burning him to a crisp. So another thing, by the way, about the flamethrower, look how cool that is, is you can combo field, right? So this is a fire field and the napalm explosion. We can double tap to blast might. And remember, when we blast might, we get extra might now because of our specialization trait before um, this one here, blasting zone. So we get all these kinds of little benefits. Down you go. That's the difference between soldiers and secret policemen. Yeah, I'd guess so, Slep. What does he say here? I think Professor Gore's theories are crucial to our campaign against the Elder Dragons. He must be allowed to publish his findings and continue his research. I have a quick question for you, Ask. I don't usually do briefings in the field, but as long as it's mission-specific, well, I'm standing by. Okay, what's our objective here? He says, nothing fancy. We're just going to fight our way in until we find Gore, and then we're going to take him out of here and back to Ratasoon. Very simple. Why is Gore so important to the Vigil again? If Gore's right and the Elder Dragons do eat magic, then we can tailor our attacks to hit them where it hurts them most. If they can't eat, they can't fight, and then they can't survive. It seems more personal with you, Slep. He says, well, I care about environmental sustainability. My people, the Char, and even the humans take a serious toll on Tyria. The dragons take that negative impact to a terrifying experience. extreme. It's funny that they say even the humans. I don't know what kind of a toll the humans have had. I mean, we do have a crazy big city and a lot of farming going on. But yeah, if you actually think about it, like these giant cubes, this is pretty bad. We're not very environmentally sustainable as a sir. And definitely the Black City. I mean, come on, think about all that pollution. It's ridiculous. The Norn, they tend to lead more sort of hunter-gatherer nomadic lifestyles, so that's fair. And the Silvari, if anything, are probably the most environmentally conscientious of them all. So uh, that's fair, I guess. Uh, so yeah, and he, his idea as a member of the Vigil is he wants this information to attack them. The Priory are more concerned about being attacked. Uh, so we can also ask him, just as we asked the Priory member for, well, are the Elder Dragons really a global threat? He says, absolutely. You know the effect they had on Ore in Lion's Arch, right? In the Brand, in the Shiver Peaks? If the Vigil doesn't stop them, that will happen to the entire world. So, yeah, I don't think I've really been clear, guys, right? The undead Elder Dragon raises this continent above the sea. Tidal waves destroy Lion's Arch. These people are all affected, right? Uh, the Ice Elder Dragon, far up in the north, pushes all of the Norn down. These guys are affected. Five years ago, an entirely new Elder Dragon, Krakatoric, wakes up and does all of this, this permanent damage to this area of the world, right? So, there's just kind of all this crazy danger going on. Uh, us as a race, we were pushed out by the Fire Dragon. There's not really the effects on the surface of Tyria of that, but still, we saw destroyers on our way here. They are a threat. And again, I think the Asura story does a lot to try and describe that. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? I can't see you clearly, but I can hear you. Thank the alchemy. A friendly face. Please, release me at once. So it's Gore! We saved him! We actually still had another guy to fight here. So we can take him out with our flamethrower. Oh, he's actually evading. That's kind of cool. 
Down you go. Simple stuff to take these guys out. And another one. So here's a very cool little thing, by the way. A lot of people won't recognize or know. If you look here, the base, we actually have a window here where we can see out Garenhof. Which means that the Arcane Eye, these members of the Asuran race who are working a partied with the counselors themselves, they have a base with a secret hatch window where they're watching the humans. This is weird. There's a bit of like clipping there. Uh, at Garenhof. Which is really peculiar. By the way, if you notice, as we look through this window, can you see, like, slight rock texture going on? This slight rock texture is because this window is only evident from this side. If you try and look in from the outside, this is where we fell down at the end of last episode. You actually can't see through the rocks, which is kind of amazing in its own way, I think. Um, but yeah, so what does this mean? Why are the arcane eye keeping tabs on the wizard Isgaron and the people who live here? Well, that's a story the, the devs still haven't revealed to us. But they have been keeping tabs. So anyway, uh, by the way, this base as well, you can only actually explore in this story step. There's no other way to get into it in the entire game, so kind of a special cool area. All right, Gore. We can free you, buddy. It's good to see you're not dead. Professor Gore, we're here to rescue you. Are you all right? Unharmed, at any rate. Please, who are you? Can you tell me why I've been incarcerated? We're supporters of yours, sir. Your theory about the dragons has made you some powerful enemies. Until we can neutralize those enemies, we mean to protect you from them. But first, we have to extract you from this place. We should split up and force any pursuers to follow two trails. I'll take Gore with me, and we'll rendezvous with Zoja and the other orders. And now we part ways. I'm looking forward to working with you again. We'll see you soon. Don't get killed, okay? As a potential asset, you're too valuable to lose. All right, Slep. Is he going to run off immediately, or can we get dialogue from him? It looks like he's just going to run off immediately. Wait, but maybe Gore says something as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do they actually have dialogue at the end of the instance? Let's chat. No, it, sound, it looks like they don't. They're just going to run off. So, yeah, there you go. You'll notice what they do at the end of this mission here as well. They always find, like, some reason for the NPCs to split up from us at the end of something like this. That's so that they don't have to do some ridiculously long, like, personal story instance where we have to escort Gore all the way back, right? We're going to split up. They'll handle getting Gore back, and we can return home at our leisure. And, uh, yeah, so this is the set itself. This is where we would have been stood and trapped in if we did the Order of Whispers version. But there would have been a whole lot less dialogue, so, uh, yeah, there you go. Really, guys, that's Garenhoff. I know a lot of you are going to be watching this, and you're going to be desperate for me to talk more and more and more about this. But really, I mean, it would take, like, two, three full videos to speak to every single NPC and get every bit of detail out. When I was a little girl, elementals used to destroy your storage sheds and run your livestock off the farm. I know, Grandma. You've told me. Uh, when I was young, she says, we didn't have elementals running around the city doing everyone's chores for them. Folks did their works the hard, hard way with their own two hands. You don't like it here, we say? She says, I didn't say that. The castle sure is not pretty nice. I'd like to go there someday. Some of the other villagers go to live there. And I keep hoping for an invitation myself. Do you ever get to see the villagers who moved there? No, but that's not surprising. A place as elegant as that. I'm sure they're just wrapped up in their new lives. And it's very isolated up there. <sighs> I'll admit, I'm jealous. Maybe someday you'll get to go up. So the wizard, and here's the really nefarious sounding bit, has actually been taking people to go up there. It sounds kind of scary, right? Like he's been killing them or maybe turning them into the elementals. Again, you can check out the link in the description if you want my full thoughts on all of this. I've seen the wizard's tower. What else is there to do around here? That's pretty much it. You don't want to go west of the canyon. Why is that? Way too dangerous. The people out there are practically barbarians. All right, well, fair enough. West. Which way would West be? Back the way we came. How dare you? So there you go. That's our adventure to Kessex Hills. Let's go uh, meet with the Order Reps. And now that we've got Gore alive again, see if we can teach people about this theory. All right, so we're back at the home instance, taking a bit of a leisurely walk to see what we've got. Here's an old retired my researcher. Crew is on the verge of a breakthrough. You're in my crew, surely. All right, so hey, guys. How's it going? We're seeing a sharp increase in dragon minion activity at several key locations. I know. Vigil resources are stretched thin. As soon as we clear an area out, more minions push in. One bright spot in all this extra activity is that the Priory has been able to capture several minions for study. Your bright spot is pretty dark, Scholar. At least Professor Gore is safe for now. All of us are safe for now. What about later, when the dragons come at us in force? Hmm. I think the Asura are asking all the right questions here. Thank you all for... Collaborating on my rescue. Imagine jailing me for a theory. Outrageous. 
opprobrious. I agree. The best way to counter such opprobrium is to prove your theory correct. How do we demonstrate that the dragons consume magic? Simple. We find an area infested with dragon minions, let's say undead, and clear it while Gore measures the ambient magic. Then we track the changes in Gore's readings. In result, fewer undead, we get data, and we give the environment some relief. It's a win-win-win. I prefer a more controlled experiment. The Priory has already captured several dragon minions for advanced study. This definitely qualifies. Sounds like two sound options. The Order of Whispers will be standing by when you're finished collecting your data. I know what you're going to say, Zoja. But before I pick an option, I want to know what your mysterious long-range plan is. In a word, alliances. Building new ones and repairing old ones, all to fight the dragons. You're working with the Orders to bring about the former. I'll deal with the latter in due course. For now, we need to substantiate Gord's theory. How you get the proof is up to you. So, she's saying there she's going to try and repair an old alliance. Of course, what she's talking about there is her old guild, Destiny's Edge. So, Gore, it's good to see you. Finally, we get to just chat for the first time. He says, I'm free, thanks to you. I don't wish to sound ungrateful, but do you know, do you know my theory is also held captive? Would you help me liberate it? We can and will, we say. So, uh, Order of Whispers aren't interested. I hope you like creating mysteries as much as solving them. In the Order of Whispers, that's a necessary job skill. We get to choose Priory or Vigil again. We just did Vigil, and honestly, I think something as important as this, we need controlled, real, reliable results. I know that he wants to go fight undead. History never lies. Historians, however. If Gore is right, I love that line. If Gore is right, then we have to prove it definitively. It will be tough proving his theory. Would you stand in the Priory while we help Gore run tests on a captive dragon minion? Is it true that dragons eat magic? Let's go find that out, shall we? What do we get as a reward? Um, a strong hat. What does the strong hat look like? So there is a preview system, by the way. I don't own this gear, but we can preview. Or we can preview this piece of gear here, the mending mask. And oh my god, look at that mask. That is terrifying looking. Or we can get the penetrating mask, which looks like that. I think the hat looks coolest, right? Let's get the hat. Hell yeah, I'm, I'm willing to wear that. I'm willing to tra trade up our um, regular previous uh, Asuran gear for a sweet ass, badass looking hat. Hell yeah, it doesn't look very engineering, but whatever, right? <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty good with this. The story step, I actually think we get to go back to Brisbane Wildlands now. Let's have a Yeah, we do! Cool, so we get to go back up to Kudu's lab, and then just a little bit more north from Kudu's lab is more labs and more places that we can check stuff out. Uh, so yeah, back to Brisbane. And daytime Brisbane, hell yeah, exactly what I want to see. Oh, we never had a chance to use... Well, we did have a chance, I just forgot. We never really used our 7 series golem. Let's use it on this firefly here. I'll show you how strong slash weak this is. This is an elite skill, okay? So let's use it. Seven skill, seven series golem. This is an attacking golem. So check it out. We can create him. And uh, we'll shoot the firefly. And we'll let the golem finish it off. So you can see, like, he doesn't do very much damage very quickly. <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. What can I say? You'll also notice that we don't get a tool belt version of our elite skill when it's a racial elite skill. Uh, the devs never designed any of those. It's uh, a funny thing because actually Engineer for many years never had an F5, right? This fifth ability here. They never had it. That was a later update to the game that gave Engineer even more skills. But when they did the later update, they never went back and looked at all of the racials. If they had, that would have been incredible. It would have meant that like as a Norn, when you learn to become the bear, Engineers that learn to become the bear would have had a special extra ability associated with it And it's fascinating to me to think about what those extra abilities might have been, but we never really get that uh, extra detail So here's a jungle worm. We of course saw some worms in Kryta. Some of the earliest stuff we fought and dealt with have been worms uh, These are pretty goddamn big jungle variants Obviously everything feels big when we're in Asura But uh, I do think that they are obviously much bigger than those original ones we saw way back when Let's keep moving with our rocket boots. We don't mean no harm. And uh, yeah, we should level up again in a second. So we'll get more hero points and we can do more stuff. Here is a really fascinating um, uh, object. This is uh, the shell of a druid of the Maguma jungle, actually. And uh, we could maybe um, do a dynamic event to do with that where you escort a spirit over to it. 
Well, I, I guess stuff to do with the jungle. If you guys don't know, the first expansion takes place in this region of the world. If you look, right, when I when I open my map here, you'll see that, like, this is a level 80 map really nearby. This is a level 80 map, and it's just tons of level 80 maps all over the place near here. It's because this is all the first expansion to the game, um, which will take us off in that territory. But that's not going to happen until after we finish the current plot stuff. So, um, let's move over this way. You know, I can't actually remember exactly which lab it is that we're going to be going to. Oh, I think I think I know which one it is, actually. We're gonna, it's going to be near a heart. So, this is an area where Asura experiment with Asura gates and transportation Battle technology. And we're just going to use one of their labs for our own purposes here. It's kind of really funny. The game asks you... I've got to show you guys this. We're going to take one break just for a quick second. I've got to show you this. This heart, um, it says here, use configurators to help tune Asura gates. So... If we uh, want to help out here, the game actually asks us to know maths. Check it out. Lattice configurator. It says crystal density 2.99. Warning. Crystal density reduced by 5%. Error. Calculation incorrect. User input required. Approximate density. So we have to find out what is 5% less than 2.99. Yeah? Uh, so you actually need to know maths. Um... Let's see, 5% less? How would I go about figuring this out? Well, a tenth of this would be 2.9, right? And then you could just half it again. So it'd be 1.5. So we would remove 5. So it'd be 8.4, right? 2.84? Yeah! Oh my god. It always makes me feel like I'm such a genius when I get these right. Applying value, calculation correct. And there's tons of these, right? There's loads of different maths that you can mess around with and play around with. Uh, we won't do that because obviously we're in the story right now. But uh, that's one of my favorite hearts. I like it when the hearts change it up a little bit and have you do more interesting things. So, Gore, it's time to prove whether you are right or whether you are wrong. All preparations are complete. Let the testing commence. All right, let the testing commence. I'm more than willing to. So we've got Crasso with us. We've got Gore with us. We're a lot bigger than these other Asura. Or maybe it's just the fancy new hat we've got. Truth and knowledge are two different things. Fair enough. Man, a lot of the Priory dialogue's very cool. Let's chat. Sure, cool. I like you. You seem cool. So we're gonna come into this base here, where there, as you can see, is an surrogate back there, because they mostly test those here. When you're ready, we'll bring in a dragon minion and blast it with arcane energy. We expect a strong reaction, but don't worry. The containment field will protect us. I'm prepared to measure the results. Savant, will you please throw the switch? Look around you. Multiple geniuses, a lab filled with state-of-the-art equipment, and a clear objective. This is how the Priory gets results. This is it. My moment of truth. My theory and I have been subjected to a lot of abuse lately. I hope we can both count on your continued support. I hope so too. Here we go. Let's bring in the dragon minion behind the containment field. Okay, Professor. Bombarding the creature with pure magic now. Anything? Anything at all? What are the readings on your sensor? Don't let up. It's... Definitely absorbing the energy. Yes! I believe we have our proof! Oh my god! It's loose! Please! I need some martial assistance! Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't say. So we've got a destroyer as well, so I'll throw my net at it so that it can't chase after Gore for too long. Oh, we've actually got to kill it before it catches him. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so it, typically it's a destroyer, which is, you know, uh, most fitting for us is the Asura. Oh, we, we missed that next net shot. Come back here. And, uh, yeah, we've supercharged it. He will actually do a ton of damage, so we want to kill it nice and quick. By feeding it magic. And, well, it's a proof. Sorry, Professor. I should have anticipated that such a high dose of concentrated magic would only strengthen the minion. This test proved that we are all imperiled, particularly those of us possessing large magical stockpiles. Unquestionably. On the bright side, this is the breakthrough I've been looking for. Proof positive that my theory is valid. These readings are conclusive. The more magic we gave it, the more was absorbed. The Arcane Council can't possibly deny the correlation. That may be, but in my experience, the Council's reactions aren't always easy to predict. Still, we are one giant step closer to proving Gore's theory to the world. Let's share this data with Zoja and the other Orders. So really interestingly, in that cutscene there, you actually heard some uh, music, some celebration music. That's really rare for this game. They don't use it enough. They usually resort to another victory uh, 
uh, bit of the soundtrack. So, uh, yeah, a nice little one there. Scholar Crasso says, One little miscalculation could have cost us dearly if you weren't here. See how much of an asset you could be to the Priory? I see, but we need to report the Sizzle Order and the others. Oh, so we've got to start wondering, guys. Are we going to be joining one of these orders, and which one do we care to join? Where is Gore at the moment? Oh, he's hiding up on this? <laughs> hey, dude. We've done it! My theory is proved! And not even the most corrupt, jealousy-maddened, denial-riddled genius could dismiss the impact of the data we just gathered. Congratulations, we say. So, that's one thing to prove his theory. There's still another big question hanging over our heads, though. And that's, why the hell was someone trying to suppress this in the first place? This could be a game changer for taking the fight back to some of the most devastating creatures in the world. So one last time, hello everybody. What have we got? My theory is confirmed. Thanks to you all, we have conclusive proof that the dragons are consuming the world's magic at an alarming rate. This is the first step to building a coalition to battle the dragons. We need to tell everyone, the entire Asura population, as quickly as possible. Racked and the Arcane Eye won't allow it. So how do we get vital information past a highly trained, secret police force dedicated to keeping it contained? If the Priory called a conference, all the most influential geniuses in Ratasum would attend. Racked wouldn't dare touch them. And once they know, the news can't help but spread. The word of mouth isn't reliable. Not against Racked. We need mass communication. We should commandeer the Golem Control Center and broadcast a message from there. The Arcane Eye is the real problem. If we attack them head on and take the fight to Rakt himself, they won't be able to contain Gore's theory. This is it, Savant. All three orders want you as a member. If you're willing, the plan you choose now will determine the order you join. Permanently. Oh, I'm willing. That'll put me on the inside with access to all of that order's resources from here on. That's what you meant by building alliances. Partially, yes. The rest will come after we present Gore's theory to the world. Now, select a plan and remember, the order you choose is the order you join. All right, so here we go. We have the big moment where we're gonna join an order permanently. So purely based on plan alone, um, I don't necessarily agree with what the Vigil is saying because at the end of the day It's not about the goons that are being hired to try and suppress this information We need to go higher than that. We need to think bigger than that as much as I may not like racked uh, of these two I like the idea of pulling everyone in the Priory um, To disseminate that information as much as possible sounds a little bit risky But I actually think the best plan probably is the Order of Whispers and we've not hung out with Batanga at all yet this chapter So both of these I think are really good to join as an Asura. I think as an Asura we could offer a lot to the Demon Priory I think as an Asura as well, particularly one more than familiar with the Inquest, the Arcane Eye as we now are I think we've got a lot we can offer the uh, Order of Whispers to who are at the end of the day the most mysterious of them all So I think we're gonna go with Agent Batanga she says this, the only way to win here is to tell everyone at once. Rat can't silence every peacemaker in the city. Are you with us? Will you join the Order of Whispers? Like, this is just a better version of the Dermond Priories idea. Who are just favouring their own guys. So, yes, I like the results you get and how you get them. And I guess that settles it. We're going to be on the inside. So, let's go back to Pistol Shield for this next one. Since it's been a while since we've used that. And while we're at it, why don't we check out another kit? This time, oh, we can't. We're one thing short. Damn it. Okay, never mind. I was going to get us the grenade kit, but uh, all in due course, guys. All in due course. Right, so we'll join them. Does Dodger have anything to say? Nope. Does Batanga no, have anything to say? Be known. Nope, we've heard that before. All right, let's get out of it. So let's see how we can do with the Order of Whispers. Batanga. You take point. What do we what have we got going on here? First of all, there's Professor Gore. There's some crew researchers. So their nameplates appear in white, these researchers. That means that they are neutral to us. We could kill them if we wanted, or we can walk past them. Let's chat. We will friendly fire them, basically. Gore says, I never imagined combining my theory with peacemaker machinery and pure chicanery. I can't even begin to calculate the outcome. Just sit close and watch. You'll see exactly how it turns out, we say. Batanga says this. Ready to enter the world of epic espionage? Ready to out-intrigue a master spy like Rakt? It all starts here at the Peacemaker headquarters. I'm ready. I may not be a covert operative like you, but if you can get me inside, 
I can reprogram Ratasum's golems to transmit my message. That's the spirit. First, we need to neutralize the guards and secure the area. And for Professor Gore's sake, let's do so swiftly and suavely. I can do suave. Just go easy on the clever jokes, all right? Groaning in disgust tends to impede my natural grace. You wound me! I'll have you know wordplay of that caliber takes an enormous amount of work. <laughs> then you should take a sabbatical. Right now, I'm only interested in repurposing those golems. The savant's right. Rat will be here as soon as he figures out what's going on. We need to move, and move quickly. All right, fair enough, fair enough. These tools should help avoid unneeded casualties. All right, fair enough. That went well over my head. Okay, so what we got here? We got a new environmental weapon. You notice that this skill is a Guild Wars 1 skill called Vampiric Gaze. They're reusing that icon. It says here, Amnesia Gas knocks out the target, leaving them no memory of what happened. Single use. So, you see these researchers? Oh, no, 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 I accidentally shot him. I didn't mean to shoot you. I'm so sorry. We're going to have to kill him now. I'm so sorry. I threw the gas at him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm really sorry. Can we have more gas, please? Remember, our objective is the Golem Master Control Panel. We aren't mass murderers, though, so use it to knock out the guns. Amnesia gas? Yes, it was derived from some stolen Inquest chemical weapons. It's been rendered harmless, but it will knock out a target and wipe their short-term memory. Sounds very useful. Why haven't I heard of it? It's expensive, and it's difficult to make. That's why I'm, uh, I'm only authorized to provide you with a single dose at a time. All right, so we'll grab some more. We want to knock out the guards and quietly and carefully. I'm so sorry to those other researchers. Here's one. Okay, so he's a peacemaker. Okay, I messed that up. Fight I'm trying to do it in a way fought. that we won't attack. So you'll notice, by the way, we can actually set up an auto attack. So I can define any of my abilities to automatically be used um, by holding control and right click. Uh, so I'm just going to turn off, and it's represented by those arrows. I'm going to turn off auto attack here so that once we throw the gas, my guy doesn't just start shooting. So let's get more amnesia gas here. All right, there's a peacemaker. Where's any other ones? There's no peacemakers there. All right, so we'll target him and we'll throw it at him as soon as we're in range. There you go. Nice. I guess we have to be really close. And he falls asleep and you saw some Z marks there. As you can see, knocked out. Okay, that's one. Good. Let's chat. Um... Yeah, no, not we. We don't want to chat just now, Gore. Give me more gas if that's the right place. Uh, knock out the remaining guard. Where's the other guard? I don't know. I don't see another guard here. It says on the top right that there is one nearby, though. So we want to be careful. Don't usually see so many arcane eye agents around. It's making me nervous. Shh, they'll hear you. Better nervous than in a cell with electrodes wired to your ears. Oh my god, that sounded terrifying. So I couldn't find the other guard, okay? Because I think we spent too long coming down. So you can see there's an officer there and there's a peacemaker there. I couldn't find the other guard, so we just restarted the instance because I think I broke it. Fight what cannot be fought. We'll knock one out here and then we'll knock the other one out really quickly as well. Look sharp. No telling what defenses these golems have. Gore, you're with me. Because I think one of them ran off. Okay, so you work on the panel. It says protect Patanga while she reprograms the golems. Their defenses are more robust than I expected. So watch my back while I work. I was about to say, protect her from what? Protect her from what exactly? But I guess the golems are uh, fighting back as she tries to deal with them. We actually do loads of burns here. Look at this. We got eight, nine burns on that guy. Nice work. We're nearly there. Um, just because we've got like... Watch it. Here comes another one. Infuriate. The rocket kick, uh, which burns them, and we got the flamethrower. These guys actually really hurt as well, so we want to be more cautious with this. I would have loved to have had another kit to show you guys at this point, but I suppose all in due time. They're on the air. Nothing is not the signal like now. To inform you that dragons consume magic. Thank you. Oh, there you go. So she's worked. They're going to go disseminate our information. Oh, nobody move. Oh, racked. Why? Stop right there. How did you dissidents bypass my security measures? That's a trade secret, Flatfoot. Though if you must know, we walked in. Then we walked all over your scheme to suppress Gore's theory. No matter. When I'm done, your revelation will be dismissed as just more gossip. Oh, and by the way, you'll all be dead. Now you're just being obvious. I used to respect the Arcane Eye as a worthy adversary in intrigue, but... This is downright vulgar. You've lost, Racked. Even if you could kill us, what's the point? Oh, and by the way, you can't. The point is, I have clear orders and a job to do. Oh, and I'm very, very good at my job. One way or another, this ends now. 
All right, looks like we get our chance to have a fight against Rakt anyway. I'm How sorry. do we want to kill him best? Flamethrower? Let's summon a golem of our own. The, one, the plan worked without a hitch. And yeah, I gotta say, it seems like the Order of Whispers are much better at this subterfuge thing than the Arcane Eye in the end. Let's knock him away and just burn him as he tries to run back into us. Oh god, he can teleport! Shadow steps, that's amazing. Racked, you got no hope, mate. No hope at all. Look, the SCA 7021, 12, sorry, is destroying you. Sorted. Victory! My theory is broadcasting to everyone in the vicinity. And the villainous Racked received his comeuppance. Once again, you have my thanks. We haven't won yet, Professor. The Arcane Council needs to know what Racked was doing in their name. Agreed. Although I have the sneaking suspicion some of them already know. We'll see if I'm right. The counselors are in their chambers on the top floor of the city. Let's go inform them of what their favorite secret policeman was up to. Yeah, see, here's the thing they must know, right? Because what the hell, Racked? Like, why would Racked and Racked alone care about Gore's theory? He, what's his motive? Um, what can I do for you? He says, I'm not a very vengeful person, but I must admit that I'll sleep a lot better without that reprobate Racked around. He got exactly what he deserved, and I just wished he'd gotten it sooner. Well, we dealt with him, now we did. I mean, he's he's sort of the, a typical Asura in a lot of ways, but was he necessarily... I am like a shadow. Going rogue? I'm like a shadow. That's some cool audio. Uh, so much for Agent Racked. I guess that proves who Tyria's premier spy masters are. Now then, let's see what the council says about their rogue agent. There's just so many of these cool, like, rogue agencies around, right? You've got the Ash Legion we saw amongst the Char to an extent. We have the Arcane Eye. You've got the Inquest to an extent. You've got uh, the Order of Whispers now, and it seems like the Order of Whispers have really come out on top here. So, of course, we all know exactly where the Councillor Chambers are. We've been there before. We'll be going there again. Let's just nip on up. For what it's worth here, you can see up here the golems. Your attention, please. Professor the Arcane said dragons, dragons are drawn to magic and magic. 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 Putting all available magic is gone. And they are basically giving every aspect of the story here. Elder dragons eat magic until there's none left. Tell your friends, and so on. So, this information is getting out here. Hey, Zodger. Hey, guys. Flax. Here. You see, Counselor Flax, everything I said is true. The Arcane Eye have been trying to suppress my theory that the dragons are eating magic. My correct theory, I might add. We now have proof that the dragons do consume magic. We know, Professor. We've always known. Preparations are being made to exploit your discovery for Ratasum's benefit, even as we speak. <gasps> then Rakt was working for you all along. You used the arcane eye to get Gore out of the way so you could stifle the truth. You won't get away with this. We'll tell the world. We'll distribute Gore's research. We'll... You'll make a lot of shrill noise, as always. And as always, no one will listen or care. You're wasting the Council's time. This audience is over. Wow. So we always knew they were a bit smarmy and nasty, and there you have more evidence if ever we needed more. Remember at character creation, all will bow to the Asura? I mean, we really are that manipulative and sneaky and nasty. Maybe our player character doesn't quite agree at this point, but the race is kind of a bunch of conniving little bastards. Flax says here, your alacrity is inspiring, but you really must leave governing to those equipped to handle it. The council will decide what's best for Ratasum. And we can say ferocious or dignity, neither of which we chose. Spoken like a truly corrupt, out-of-touch has-been, we can say. I actually prefer his response if we ask him simply, what about the rest of Tyria? Surely it's in Tyria's favor to know how to fight the Elder Dragons, not just the Asura. And he says, don't be absurd about the rest of Tyria. The world's best and only hope is for us to start running it. When Ratasum defeats the dragons, Tyria will fall to its knees and beg us to rule it. And we say you have no idea how wrong you are. So unbelievable. I guess our little bit of time here interacting with the other races and the orders uh, might have opened our eyes a little. Zudo and Ludo just standing on by. So really corrupt, nasty stuff we hear about them here. And uh, Gore says, I can't say I'm surprised by the council's position, but I'm extremely disappointed. Can't see, can't they see how much we'd all stand to lose by suppressing the truth? How can they be so short-sighted? And we say it's called blind ambition for a reason. Zodja, what is this? I had no idea the council was corrupt enough to hoard information that could help Tyria deal with the dragons. 
They obviously think they can keep themselves safe in Ratasum. But the more power they stockpile, the faster the dragons will come for them. Listen, I've fought the dragons, and I'm telling you, they have no chance. The only hope Tyria has is for all races to join forces. That's the Priory's current mission. But I think I can handle things in Ratasum from here on out. It's time to take the fight to the dragon. Head to Lion's Arch. Congratulations. Getting you into an order was the first step. Now for the tricky part. I'm bound for Lion's Arch too. I'm meeting an... old friend there. We were members of a brilliant team, Destiny's Edge. Things went horribly wrong, but I'm starting to think the team is worth another try. We almost took down an Elder Dragon without any help, but the dragons are too big for one group to tackle. Tyria needs their experience, and Destiny's Edge needs all the help they can get. I may call on you again. I'll be honored to answer that call. As a citizen of Tyria and your friend, I'll be ready. Thank you. This may fail, but I have to at least try. I wouldn't feel that way if not for you. I'll meet you in Lion's Arch. So here we can now see what it was that drove Zodger to that fateful Lion's Arch meeting after she got a message from Kaith, a previous guild member of hers. Uh, we get this dialogue. She says, nice work, Savant. I mean, initiate. Well, with both of us attacking the Elder Dragon problem from different angles, I'm a lot more confident about our chances of success. And we say same here. I'll keep an eye out for you at Lion's Arch. Arch. There's also Gore here who says, I've often suspected Councillor Flax of having a hidden agenda. I'm sorry my theory has caused everyone so much trouble, but I also thank you for helping me present it to the world. And we say, you're welcome. Now let's put your theory to practical use against the Elder Dragons. Without the instances complete. So, returning here at level 40 and the progression of the story, we of course get to go through the Asura Gates to Lion's Arch, where we are invited by our mentor. This time, it's not Ritlock, it's Zodger. We get to now see what happens after the domestic stories end. We get to return to Lion's Arch of 1325. As you can see here, we walk on up, and you guys know how this goes. So I will not show you this whole instance. Uh, but there are the children who will play Destiny's Edge. And now we get a little bit more context about one of the other perspectives as the meeting began. Zodja, having completely lost faith in the counselors at Ratasum to uh, do the right thing, uh, has got her own ambitions for taking out the Elder Dragons, and she's decided to maybe give the Destiny's Edge thing a shot, as she, just like Ritlock, has been sent a mail from one of her old adventuring bands. Greetings. So she comes here and she says, this is gonna be trouble, I just know it. Why did I listen to that leaf-brained Kaith? I don't know. Just give her a chance, we say. She might see she might say something worth listening to. Everybody moves in. Here's Ritlock, and the conversation unfolds. Welcome, fellow members of Destiny's Edge. We must speak of the threat of the Elder Dragons. When I agreed to come, I didn't know you'd be inviting this char. Kaith, I doubt that we can unite again. Not after our last mistake. The Norn's right. When heirs to Galkin makes mistakes, people die. Is that what you think, Soja? That what happened was my fault? Please, all of you. Our time has come. We must help the Orders. We have fought the Elder Dragons before. And lost. Because someone couldn't keep up with us. Ritlock, you're just making it worse. Ha! Look who's talking! Logan's right, for once. I have more important things to do. I'm done with this. We failed, then. Failed to bring Destiny's Edge back together. We cannot help the others. How can we help Tyria? So there you can see that when she says when peep when air makes mistakes, people die, she's talking about Snaff. Snaff died because of Air's failure as a leader. Greetings. What is it with these people? Are their heads filled with ether? What did Snaff see in them anyway? They're worthless! I wouldn't call the finest guild interior worthless, Zodja. They're just lost. They don't have a brain among them anymore. Yeah, you're their brain, Zodja. Seriously. You could say that again, she says. Mistake, she said. This meeting was a mistake. That's what. I can defeat the dragons without them. Really? You can fight like Logan and Ritlock? Strategize like Air? Scout like Kaith? Even a genius needs a crew. Know what? I hate admitting you're right. So stop talking and I won't have to. Now leave me alone. I need to think this through. I'll contact you soon enough. Anytime, Zodja. I'll be ready to move when you need me. 
voila, we see Zodja moves away, but still very much dead set on dealing with the Elder Dragons. Just maybe is going to be going it alone. For now, though, as Air uh, runs off to plunder the catacombs beneath Ascalon, Ritlock follows and Tyrix hot on their heels, we, Brax, have other things on our mind. I mean, sure, we could go to the Ascalon catacombs to help out a char and a human, but why would we do that? Sure, we could try to figure out what Zodja's next move is, but the Order of Whispers do seem mighty interesting, don't they? I mean, we don't even know where they're based out of just yet. Well, on that note, we just got a mail. An interested friend. Apples for sale. Hello, traveler. You don't know me, but I've been given to understand that you have an interest in apples. You could say that I'm an apple gourmet. I find that eating fresh fruit does a lot for the hearing. Why, an apple a day and you can hear whispers a mile away. In any case, if you're looking for an order of a bushel of apples, here's the address for my favorite fruit seller in Lion's Arch. He'll help you with everything you need. Sincerely, a friend. P.S. Destroy this letter. I don't know, eat it or something. Just get creative. And I know, I know, guys, a lot of you are thinking, oh, this video is going to end pretty soon. It will. There's just something so cool I've got to show you at the start of this next arc. Apples. Apples for sale. Come get a nice, quiet apple. So quiet, you might say they're whispering. You know what would hit the spot right now? A juicy red apple. Are you the apple person that we're supposed to be speaking to? Of course, you can see here we're in older LA again. Hello, mysterious apple seller. Who are you? Hey there. Can I interest you in an apple? I'm looking for my contact. A member of the or- yeah. Apples for sale. Nothing but apples to see here, folks. What part of secret society wasn't explained to you? Keep your voice down, Initiate, and pretend you're buying an apple. Sorry. Uh, give me that apple, the one over there. My name's Tybalt, Lightbringer of the Order of You-Know-What. It's my job to train you to serve the Order. I'm supposed to figure out if you're trustworthy, and if you are, well, then you get to know more. <laughs> okay. A lot of people would love to know the secrets our order collects about the dragons, sometimes for very bad reasons. That makes sense. Put me up to any test, Tybalt. I'll prove myself. First things first. We've got a mission assignment. Are you up for it, Initiate? Aren't you going to tell me what it is? Ah, not in Lion's Arch. There are ears everywhere. Meet me in Apple Nook Hamlet, and I'll brief you there. Hmm, all right. Well, that's pretty simple. First assignment, Apple Nook Hamlet. Doesn't seem too tricky. Here we get a cool cutscene where the strange apple seller, our new friend, teleports away. Very Order of whispers -y. And also a new NPC appears too. Before you follow Tybalt, speak with me, Initiate. My name is Real, and I am the Order's primary spy in Lion's Arch. Ah. The Preceptor sent me to welcome you before you begin your first mission. You have a right to know the dangers you will face. Dangers? Ooh, here it is! Welcome, Initiate. Yes, we know who you are. We've been watching you. You join us even as the fate of nations hangs in the balance. Only the Order of Whispers stands between civilization and ruin. In every nation, the dragons are rising. They will devour the world. If they aren't stopped, they'll turn Tyria into a burnt-out husk, a broken shell. You may have chosen to join the Order of Whispers, but our trust is earned, not given. Now is the time to show your worth. It doesn't matter where the dragons came from, or why they awakened. The secrets we discover will help us send them back to hell. Welcome to the Order of Whispers. Come on, let me out! I'm not really a bear. Keep it down, talking bear. You're going nowhere.